in genesis chapter 28 verse 12 the bible says and he dreamed and behold a ladder set up on the head and the top of it reached to heaven and behold the angels of god ascending and descending on it i want you to shout this prayer point loud and clear say i climb the ladder of my turn around in the name of jesus say i climb the ladder of my turn around in the name of jesus in jesus name we pray amen you are welcome to evangelist joshua tv a tv station that is fully dedicated to dreams and interpretation if you're talking about dreams interpretation 100 percent this is the right and the most suitable channel for biblical dream interpretation according to that bible verse we have just read in genesis chapter 28 there's a key point there talking about ladder talking about ascending and descending and for this purpose our topic is dream about stairs dream about stairs stairs are steps that allow the movement of people from one particular place to the other that is ascending and descending that is stairs that allow the movement of people when you have story building if you want to go to the first floor the second floor the third floor you need the head of the stairs to take you there to make to make your movement faster but the scripturally the bible has recognized stairs as ladder stairs as divine ladder ladder to heaven ladder to success ladder to good to good living to good health and everything ladder good 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 then spiritually dream about stairs in a good mood right now it represents success breakthrough when you wake up from that dream you feel okay you feel peaceful nothing is threatening you you don't you don't look horrible then it represents success good thing is coming on your way somebody's about to bless you you are you are getting to the point of your breakthrough oh this is this is deliverance and restoration but when you wake up from that dream about stairs you look as if you are crying sorrow as god you are confused you're frustrated then these are few of the minutes number one it represents rising and falling number two it represents satanic embargoes number three it represents thou shall not excel number four it represents ancestral attack number five it represents incomplete deliverance number six it represents ancestral stagnation number seven it represents failure at the edge of breakthrough i have seen so many people in the dream they are about to climb the stairs the moment they they take about three steps forward that step crack and they fell down at the point of falling down the person gave up and died in the dream not in the waking life stairs are good signs stairs are bad signs depending on the outcome of your dream then that will now determine the best way to tackle this dream back to back then if you are climbing stairs you have to know the purpose why you are climbing the stairs are you climbing the stairs to pick up something at the floor at the second floor or at the other side or you are climbing stairs or you don't know the purpose why you are climbing stairs generally when you are climbing stairs that stairs you are climbing is your ladder it's your ladder to fruitfulness it's your ladder to breakthrough perhaps you have been crying to god god when will you answer my prayers so in the process where you are climbing is the process where you are praying 
the process where you are climbing the stairs is the process where you are looking out to God for help. The process where you are climbing the stairs is the process where you are believing God for a miracle. Until you get to the end part of that stairs, you have not gotten to your deliverance. The, the climbing is a process. So when you get there without any obstruction on your way, then it represents total victory. That stairs also can also represent your your they, they can also represent your season of trials. You have to endure. But when you are climbing stairs, it has to go with serious efforts. And if care is not taken, you will be tired along the way. You have to hold on. The Bible says, fear not, be strong. In that challenge, you are climbing the stairs. You need to be strong. You don't need to be afraid. So when you are about to agree to the end of that stairs, you now fell down. Oh my God. Don't need anybody to tell you that the powers want you to start again in life. It's not good. In some cases whereby, in the process where you are climbing down, just as I have said, going down again, that one is total demotion. Then there's an idol somewhere that is crying against your elevation. Crying. Then there's says a power somewhere. Somebody is using some demonic enchantment powers to do what? Anytime they see that this person, ah! Nah, nobody has ever done this in your family. You want to do it? Yeah. Mm. You cut that person off and that person will fall down. That is a cause. They did not allow that person to go forward. It could be, you know the pattern in your family. Nobody has ever gone to America, gone abroad, traveled abroad. Nobody has never recorded, has never broken protocol in your family. Then, at the same time, when you are walking up and down the stairs, you are walking up and down, no purpose, no, no reason. You are just in that dream, you are just walking up and down. Then you are confused. That is spiritual confusion. That's a wandering spirit. Just like when you see somebody on the way, the person is not mad. Nothing is wrong with that person. You just see that person walking, moving around, moving around the circle, around that street, around the road. My, my brother, my sister, what is wrong with this young man? I've been for the past one hour. This person has been walking around the circle. Is there anything wrong? Is it wrong? But let's call the police to come and check him, investigate him. Walking up and down the stairs, no purpose, no direction. But if there's a purpose why you are walking up and down, then it means that when you are going up, then coming down, it means you have achieved something. When you are, when you are coming down, no power is pushing you down, no forces at that up is pushing you down. Then you intentionally go down because when somebody go up the stairs definitely you have to come down because you are going there to go and bring something it means you have achieved something praise the living jesus in some cases whereby people in that people are people maybe your group church group they are going upstairs they are going upstairs they are climbing the stairs that is it means that you are going to achieve your success you are going to achieve greater things true teamwork we are seeing many people you are there they are climbing steps stairs it means that you are going to achieve your there are some people the bible said can two work together i said they agree you have to work in agreement before you can get there you can't get there alone just like what i interpreted about dream about football that you can't get there until you work with team spirit with your leader you you follow follow their guideline and be obedient to them have an agreement with them praise the living jesus maybe in some cases this is normally happen very well. Listen very well. As you are climbing the stairs, you saw some powers. Some one person, whether somebody you know, a strange person, or somebody you know, is saying telling you that you have to go back. Go back, go downstairs. It's pushing you. Go, go downstairs. Ah, oh, who are you? Do you know who I am? Yeah? We are the caliber of people, they are record rec- recognized. Who are you? Go downstairs. The person you are seeing, whether it's your friend. Whether it's your brother, whether it's your sister, whether it's your father, whether it's a dead relative that is asking you to go down, this is a bad dream. They could, it is possible that the, the enemy may be using their face against you. They are anti anti progress spirit. They have never, never recorded de- recorded your name in the book of those people that will be successful in the family. So you, they want you to struggle again. I have so so many pastors, many pastors. They are struggling in the place of their ministry as a result of this dream 
you will invest in your ministry instead of you to be seeing harvest, nothing is going on. Instead for your, mem your members to appreciate you, their, you know, or depend many, many areas. May the Lord guide you and the powers of your father's house that is resisting you. God will arrest them in the name of Jesus Christ. Maybe as you are climbing the stairs, there's a crack. The stairs are crack. The ladder of your elevation, the ladder for you to tap what God has assigned for you in that particular place. The enemy has cracked. Just take for example. Take for example, God, somebody, somebody has promised to give you money, like fifty dollars, one thousand naira, hundred dollars, all kinds of money. The person has promised you date. Say, hey, Mister Sunday, come on this particular date. I want to give you money. You for your work, your, your, your effort, your, you know, your hard working. But on that day, you discover that one particular sickness befell you. Sickness, seriously, to, to this open point that they have to take you to hospital on that day. <laughs> Those are powers. It shows that you are coming from a bad foundation. They does not want good people to work for you. May that not be your portion in the name of Jesus. So when you are coming down and you discover that the, the stairs are cracked, then the enemy does not want you to so does not want you to fulfill your desire, your, your, your destiny, what God has in store for you. Praise the living Jesus. In some cases whereby you are sitting on the stair, when you are sitting on the stair, three things might happen. It is either you are tired, it is either you are oppressed on that stairs, it is either an arrow was fired into you in that stairs. You are tired in that stairs. No strength again. You are in your wilderness in that stairs. You can't move up you can't come down again. You are tired. You have lost your faith, lost your power. You have to go down on your knee and say, God, in any way I am weak, empower me. Empower my prayer life. Empower me to challenge this battle. You have to pray. If you are not be praying, that ensures that you are not praying. You are weak spiritually. So you are weak spiritually. You have to pray very well so that you can deal with this problem. Praise the living Jesus. So if you are crying in the stairs, you are crying in the stairs, it means you have been attacked, severely attacked. When you are crying in the stairs, it means the enemies, the enemies have put you in bondage. You are crying for help. Nobody is coming to help you. You are in bondage. You have to pray for God to deliver you and turn your tears of sorrow to tears of joy. The Bible says weeping may endure for a night, but joy comment in the morning. If you are rolling down from stairs, you are rolling down, rolling down from that stairs, it means your, your life, it means your hope has been shattered to pieces. You are rolling down like an animal. Rolling down means your life, your hope has been shattered to pieces. No hope again. No hope. No hope. When you are seeing long stairs, it means that you have many mountains to, to attack, many mountains to overcome your the place the place of your destiny is very long just like the the children of israelite they were in wilderness their promised land is very distant from them so you have to pray god give me the power to overcome these mountains before me if if you just dream about short stairs short stairs short stairs means that you have you are close to your you are close to your breakthrough now short they are not long you are close. You are close. So you have to pray. You are getting close to the place of your destiny. You have to pray very well. Had more aggressiveness in that prayer. If possible, you can go for deliverance. For, for you to get to the point of your testimony in Jesus' name. And at the same time, whereby you saw in at the same time, whereby you saw a baby was crying in that stairs. It means you are you have, the, the enemy is planning for you to have sorrow over your children. May that not be your portion in the name of Jesus. Maybe you discover that as you are about to climb the stairs, the stairs disappear. It means the doors of your destiny have been closed. No way. You are looking for help. May that not be your portion in Jesus' name. So what are the way out? The way out 
is to surrender your life to Christ. The way out is to repent from your sins. The way out is to call upon the name of God for help. The way out, the way out, the way out is to go to your door, close that door. This is a, this is practical now. Close that door, carry key. Do as if you are you are locking that door. Now, say now you now hold that key. Say God, as I'm opening this door, I'm opening my open doors. Demonstrate it. And by the grace of God, there shall be open doors in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. And if you have stairs in your house, demonstrate it also as if you are doing exercise. God, as I'm climbing up the upstairs, God, I'm getting to my place of my destiny. Demonstrate all these things. Look at the way out God is bringing to me. God bless you. The instruction is just for you to embark on 30 days prayer and fasting between 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. I want you to take this prayer point loud and clear. Anti-progress spirit attacking my future. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Anti-progress spirit attacking my future. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, I bind and cast out every power that have stolen the key of my promotion. I bind and cast out every power that have stolen the key of my promotion in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Take this last prayer point loud and clear. See, oh God, my life is available. Deposit into my hand my divine keys. Oh God, my life is available. Deposit in my hand your divine kiss in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Let the living soul in the house say praise the Lord. If you are blessed by this broadcast, write your name about stairs. Any kind of stairs, stairs. I have not talked about stairs, stairs, stairs. If you have not subscribed, Subscribe to this channel and be getting more of my notification for you to be getting more, 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 more. If you have never sold into this ministry and you want God, how can I sell to this ministry? I have PayPal, my bank account, UBA is there, and all kinds, whatever way God has laid in your heart. There's no amount that is too small. We will so we spend money to run videos. We spend monies. We don't use any hour. We spend money. Money, people of God sent to us, we use it to produce videos, to send it to people who can help us and if you are an editor you can edit film you can edit video so just write just write just send me a text message then i will honor it god bless you in jesus and this evangelist joshua broadcast from the country.